Hey, what's up YouTube? So, I, you know I had to make a video on this. I had to make a video on it. Yesterday, I didn't even know anything about this until the homie hit me up and was like, yo, you, you heard about this? Yesterday, Ford announced that they're going to actually stop selling smaller cars. They're going to stop selling sedans and hatchbacks here in the US. That within the next couple of years, I believe it's 2020, they're gonna start phasing all that stuff out and just getting rid of it. Just be focusing more on SUVs, crossovers, and pickup trucks. So that means the Ford Fusion, the Ford Focus, the Ford Fiesta, and the Ford Taurus, the Ford C-Max are all gone. Here's my take on it. I wanna give my take on it. And I want to uh, hear your take on it also in the comment section, please. I would love to hear what you have to say about this. So all today I've been reading all these uh, reports and articles from different websites. Everybody's kind of having a field day when it comes to this news, posting a lot of different opinions, finding a little bit more information about what's really going on. And uh, I think it's a good thing. I think it's actually a good thing and it's smart. And here's why. But before I get to why, I wanna kind of talk about some of the stuff that I've read online. One article I read online talked about how uh, Ford's able to do this because they make a huge profit margins off of their trucks, right? And the article's basically saying that they make so many, so uh, such a huge profit margin off of trucks because of the chicken tax. Now, if you don't know what the chicken tax is, please, please look it up. I'm not gonna spend this video talking about chicken tax. Basically, it allows American automakers to actually make a huge profit margin off of trucks because of a tax for foreign automakers. And the article is basically saying that um, Ford wants to re reap those benefits once again. And that's a smart way of looking at it. Um, possibly, very true. Uh, I can't, I can't, I can't kind of, I don't have an argument against that, uh, uh, against that article. Maybe you do, I don't. So another thing I've read online and the comment section mostly, and I've seen a couple articles about it, that once gas prices go back up, Ford's going to regret their decision and they're going to actually start making um, cars again. And this very well might be true. Um, we know that things repeat. History repeats itself. Things that once were, they come back and they are. You'll see the trend with music. You see the trend with clothes. See with different things like that, right? So maybe. But here's my argument against that: that Ford will actually backtrack and start making cars again. I don't think that they will because of rising gas prices. I think if Ford actually backtracks and starts making cars again, it it'll just be because that's what the consumer wants. And um, at the moment, that's really not what the consumer wants, apparently. So why do I think that gas prices rising? Ford won't actually just kind of break away from this and start making cars again. Well, because of one thing, electrification. Electric, that's the real driving force of the auto industry at the moment. That's where everybody's going to switch to. I know the trend and I can see it because technology is, 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 is getting better. It's getting finer, it's refining, and electric is where things are going to go. And that's where, and that Ford knows this, right? Ford knows this because even yesterday, Six electric vehicles by 2020. Six electric or either plug-in electric. And the Ford, and that's 2022, excuse me, not 2020. 2022, right? So if Ford is planning to phase out all of their cars, their sedans and hatchbacks, by, I don't know, 2020, let's just say 2020, right? That's kind of the year I see floating around. I'm not too sure if it's 100% true. If they want to have six electrified vehicles by 2022, they're going to be SUVs and crossovers. That's what's going to combat the rising gas prices, not reverting back to actually having cars. The reverting back to actually having cars, if Ford does so in the U.S., will only be purely because that's what the consumer wants. For whatever reason, the trend is, is, is ticking the opposite way. And I don't think gas is what's going to take that trend back because of electrification. And... When you look nowadays at the at the uh, how great these SUVs and crossovers are when it comes to being gas guzzlers, they're pretty daggone good nowadays. I can see why people want to switch to a, a crossover and SUV because it gives them the room that they need. I put room in, in quotes like this because I've been inside of a lot of SUVs and crossovers and they don't feel any bigger than me than actual cars, in my opinion. As far as leg room, think different things go, shoulder room, that kind of thing. I guess the space up top, they feel a little bit different, but honestly, they don't even then either. So people like room, they like to be higher up off the ground. So these newer crossovers and SUVs, they get good gas mileage, right? So if I'm a person who's had an older vehicle from early 2000s, maybe a 90s vehicle, right? And I'm the typical American, right? I'm just gonna say this, that I'm gonna play the role of, a, of the typical American. I want an SUV or a crossover, right? This is kind of what I'm going for. Gas prices at the moment are not too high, 
uh, I'm coming from an older vehicle, right? And I look at my gas, I look at the mileage of my older vehicle and the mileage of, uh, say, let's say an Escape or an Edge, right? The Escape and the Edge ticks these other boxes. They tick all these boxes for what I want in the vehicle at the moment, including gas. Because my older vehicle, the gas mileage was decent. This Edge, it's better. Now, that Focus with the Fiesta sitting on the lot also, that's not what I want. So why would I buy it, even though it still has, maybe, what, three, two to three more MPG higher than the Escape, and the Escape ticks all the boxes and still gives me better gas mileage than my vehicle that I'm coming from. That's why people aren't buying these, these, these smaller cars in the U.S. anymore, because you have these crossovers and SUVs that have good gas mileage, and they're better than what the cars that other people are coming from, and it's more of what they want because the trend now, what people want in a vehicle is to be off the ground. They want to have that extra room inside the vehicle. That's the trend. That's what people want. And since the gas, since the, since the fuel economy of these types of vehicles is pretty daggone good nowadays, that's what they buy. So here's one more thing I want to talk about also, right? I'm going to be 100% honest with you when it comes to Ford's lineup of sedans and hatchbacks. <laughs> Here we go. So I'm going to ask you this and just be 100% honest, right? You're a car enthusiast. You're watching this video. So you're a car enthusiast, you, you have some sort of opinion or strong opinion about cars in general. So say your friend comes to you, said friend is not really a car enthusiast, doesn't really know too, too much about cars, right? But wants to buy a new car. And they say, hey, I got this and this and this on my list of things to buy from a car. Are the things I want in a car? I'm going to buy a new car, right? A new car. What should I buy? Do you actually suggest a Ford vehicle in this day and age, in this current state of Ford? Do you suggest a Ford vehicle? Now, when I say Ford vehicle, I mean a Ford sedan or hatchbacks. I'm speaking specifically about the Ford vehicles that are being cut from production here in the U.S. They're not going to be selling, selling anymore. Do you actually suggest someone go out and buy one? Just answer that question, because to be completely honest with you, I don't. <laughs> Uh, I used to drive a lot of vehicles uh, back at my older job, and I spent a lot of time driving Ford vehicles. And I, I, I not once suggest people go out and buy Ford vehicles. Now, once again, when I say Ford vehicles, I'm speaking about the ones that are being cut, not escapes, not edges, different things like that. It's talking purely about the Focus, Fusion, and blah, 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 all the rest of them that are being cut. So why don't I suggest one? They're outdated. In this day and age, do you take a Fusion or an Accord? I'm taking the Accord all day long. <laughs> I'm going to take that Mazda 6 that looks great, that drives great and looks great. I'm going to take whatever else is out there, to be honest with you, and not a Ford Fusion or a Ford Focus or a Ford Fiesta because these other cars are just simply better at the moment. So nobody's suggesting people are going to buy Ford vehicles. People aren't, aren't buying Ford vehicles, as you can clearly tell. Them. So what's Ford to do? actually put a bunch of money into revitalizing their lineup, right? Making their lineup super awesome when it comes to these vehicles that they're going to cut, right? So they put so much money into making it better, knowing that the trend is that these vehicles are dying. Or do they just cut them? Just don't even bother about bringing them here. Focus on what's actually making you money. It kind of makes sense. It makes perfect sense. So that's kind of my take on it. Um, I can understand why you don't want to actually spend money on revitalizing your lineup that's kind of not at the, that's kind of not competitive at the moment. When you on a segment of the auto industry industry that you know is dying, and um, you're gonna see this trend more and more. Uh, you you've seen FCA. You already know about Chrysler. You already know about Dodge. Um, you're gonna see it more and more, and uh, don't be surprised when when it happens. It's just my opinion though. It's just my opinion. I would love to hear what your opinion is. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, it's going to get really interesting. Can't wait to see what happens. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.